Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2 with Covert Infiltration. So, we are doing a retaliation mission. I prepared the squad. I don't want to leave the screen because I'm pretty sure it will fail instantly if I do. There's less than one hour left. It does have Savage Seed Rep. And uh, this is what we got. I got two Rangers, Assault, Shinobi, Skirmisher and Grenadier. I have not done a mission with Ramela in a while. I do have some APs to spend, but there's nothing in particular I would really like to buy right now. Maybe at higher rank. There is one thing. Explosive shot. So that's not too bad. A thunderclap is nice too though. I think I'll save for thunderclap. So anyway, everyone has a magnetic weapon. Almost everyone has predator armor. I suppose I could make one more Predator armor. I'm going to need it anyway. I only have three at the moment. Okay, let's just make one more and we'll use it right away. Here. And a smoke grenade is fine. Okay, so that's it then. This is the squad. Let's go. Nobody has less than 10 HP. All right, here we are. We do have concealment on one person, so I will take advantage of that. Let's take a look around then, shall we? See what we can find. Here, a Berserker and a Stun Lancer, all right. We should take care of that Berserker. Unfortunately, no Sharpshooter, so I'll just have to move in. Let's move in with Saitani here. He can't move in close enough here. I could stand over here. I might not get line of sight if I do that. But I suppose I can always use running gun. I'm going. Okay, let's go. I would like to kill that Berserker on the first turn. And the Star Lancer too. I'm not sure if I can kill both. Probably not. I could try a stun, actually. 81%? Yeah, maybe. It's a big maybe. It's not immune or anything, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Okay, what the heck, let's go with that. There we go, nice. Okay, so I don't have to kill it on this turn. I would like to kill the Stun Lancer still. He's a little bit far away, but he's not that far. Problem is, he might be too far for me to do anything about. Yep, I think so. Is it clear? <laughs> Does it look clear to you? Okay, there he is. I'm even flanking him right now. I thought he moved into cover. No, he did not. Okay. Maybe I can actually kill him then. There we go, done. Now we can do some damage to the Berserker. And if I don't kill the Berserker now, we can finish it off on the next turn. Uh, this is a great start of the mission. So far. Okay, more. Again, we don't have to kill it right now. But we'll do some damage. Okay, another one. On the move. 97%. <laughs> we need 8 more damage. Okay, well, I could slash it, but I think I'd rather keep my concealment. Yeah, let's keep the concealment. That way I can scout around a little bit more. Safely. Okay, more incoming. Some faceless and I saw a stun lancer. Advanced trooper. Okay, two faceless. Advanced trooper and a stun lancer. Interesting. Interesting map. I don't like being on low ground. Alright, do some damage, people. Go, go, go. Alright, a nice one. 
a crit would have been better, but I'm not complaining. Another Berserker on the left. I guess I need to move up here. Yep. Well then. I still have to finish off this Berserker. I need to think about this one. Well, let's finish off the Berserker, shall we? Done. And then, see what we can do about these fellas. I would like to kill that stun lancer, but I'm not sure if I can. I could with a gun, but that's not necessarily safe. Clara can take two shots at the faceless. Let's go with that then. She can probably kill the faceless on her own. Yes, indeed. Okay, that will take care of it. There you go. Weapons burning out. So I could actually run in a gun. There were more enemies up here, so it's not necessarily safe. Can I shoot him from the low ground? Kind of, but he will have cover. Still, I can do it. I can just chill back here and uh, try slug shot. Let's go with that. Yeah, there's the other faceless. Can we kill the other faceless here? Probably not, I don't think I have enough damage. We can try justice on the stun lancer. Let's try that. No, missed. With 76%, that's a bit unfortunate. That is a bit unfortunate, but all right. Can I actually kill him? It's possible this needs to hit. No, it will not. I probably can't kill him. It's still possible, but yeah, I don't know. 53% is not that good. No, they didn't get it. Well, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I still have Tarkin, technically. But, yeah, I don't think I really want to do much with him right now. I could take a shot. Let's check our chance to hit. Yeah, it's not really good. Let's just stay in concealment. Just a little bit unfortunate I didn't kill the stun lancer, but I tried. Blaming people who missed. Yeah, I think the resistance here is about to have a bad time. Yeah, that missed, but it destroyed his cover. Here comes the stun lancer. We actually got him! Very nice! Yes, I see that. Well done. Yep, uh, that guy was pretty much screwed after he lost his cover. Oh, shut up, Bradford. We're taking them down, can't you see? We are taking them down, calm down. You want to help? Okay, anyone else? Nope. Okay, well, I need to get up here. I mean, now is a good time to use running gun. Okay, let's run and gun now. Up here. Then we can take a shot at the faceless. There's still that advanced trooper on the left. I would like to kill him before he uses his grenade. But he's in full cover and I can't really get line of sight very well. I can grapple up here. It's not going to be that helpful. I could throw a frag grenade after grappling, so that's an option. Maybe not a terrible one. I will be out of cover, however. Let's at least go right here. I'll have cover from one direction. Not quite the direction I need, but it's something. So now we can uh, use a grenade to hopefully destroy his cover. 
Uh, okay, it reduced his cover to partial, which is not too bad. I just need four damage now. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Worst case scenario, I can always use another grenade. I would prefer to not do that. Or I can slash him, but... No, I can't even do that. I'm not close enough to slash him. I might have to use another grenade. Can anyone target him from the low ground at all? No. He cannot be targeted from the low ground at all. Yeah, that's not good. I have to use a grenade. I just don't have any other option here. Well, the other option is to leave him alive. I don't think I want to do that. Right, well, let's shoot the faceless here. Might as well take it out. Reload. I might need a grenade for an actual grenadier. I was really trying to avoid that. But I have no choice. This might not even kill him. I might end up wasting two grenades to kill this guy, but there's no way I'm leaving him alive. I left an advanced trooper alive before, you know how that ended in one of the earlier missions. He did a ton of damage with a grenade. So there's no chance I'm leaving him alive, just no. It is technically a bit of a waste of grenades, but there's just no chance I'm leaving him alive. The resistance team is in the clear. They're there. To help the other survivors. There's a that was probably worth it. Alright, let's go. We're not done yet. Not even close. I still got a few grenades left. Nice one! Well, two critical damage. I was hoping it would be more than that, but alright. Two critical damage again. Okay. Well then. Yeah, interesting map here. Let's keep moving. Nobody here at the moment. Okay, now I can get everyone over here. Let's go, people. No time to waste. Copy that. Tarkin can go here. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to dash to get as close as possible. With as many people as possible. Alright, go, go, go. There aren't any active enemies at the moment. I don't think so. It says there are, but it's lying. Okay, there's a mech in the back. Advanced Trooper. Quite a few resistance people up here. That's a good thing. So, there are at least seven more enemies. Possibly more. Okay, that guy is almost dead. Right, so I can definitely trigger some of them right now. Let's see. Alright, let's just move up. I do have a flashbang on Saitani. Uh, that was not enough, apparently. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this is some pretty weird terrain here. I guess I'll just have to dash into the trenches. Got it. Moving. Okay, sure. I guess we're doing that now. 
Next, probably needs to reload. Okay, reload. Dash over here. Okay, I guess that'll do. I probably should have reloaded that shotgun. Overwatch with a shotgun isn't going to do much. Okay, here's a Berserker. Needs to take it out before he takes sudden resistance. Damn it. Okay, that actually hit. Well done. Only 41%. So wait, that's two Berserkers. At least two Berserkers. And the mech. Okay, okay. Yeah, at least two berserkers. Maybe three? Is it not three berserkers? I'm not sure anymore. It's definitely at least two. Let's go, people. Kill something for me. Make my life easier. Not great. Come on. Yeah, so there's one Berserker. Right, let's take out the mech, shall we? Unfortunately, I can't really shred it unless I use a grenade. I guess I could. I would have to move closer. I would probably have to stand in the open. Uh, this might be close enough. And now it's not. I guess I'll just use the shotgun. It's good enough. I can burn it down without shred. Only three more damage needed. Okay, uh, that will do the trick. I probably should have used that. <laughs> well, now that I don't need it anymore, I can actually save it instead. Closing on target position now. Here. Oh, we are flanking the Stun Lancer. He has one health left. Somebody else can probably do that. So this is cover. Okay, this is good enough. So that will kill him even if I miss. It would be pretty hard to miss like this, but it's still possible, you know? Yeah, it very much is still possible. We got 10 crit instead. Works for me. Okay, let's finish off the mech. Now, I guess I will not be killing the Berserker on this turn. And that's definitely not happening. I don't even want to trigger it on this turn. I will use Overwatch. But yeah, I don't want to trigger it right now. Okay, let's Overwatch. Yeah, so there's the Berserker. He missed again. Yeah, there's another Berserker. Will we get Overwatch? Okay. No, we did not. The line of sight is a little bit awkward. So there are three Berserkers. I was right. There are actually three. That's a lot of damage I'll have to do. Each one of them has 28 health. And there's a pod in the back. Two stun lancers. Pathfinder, okay. <laughs> One critical damage. Two pathfinders and two stun lancers. Right. Are we there yet? One damage. Okay, well, I need to start burning down the Berserkers. Easier said than done. I need a better line of sight here, I really do. So, hold on, where's Clara? Right here. Okay, she has line of sight. Let's shoot that berserker over there. 
I can shoot him twice. Okay, missed. How do you miss something that big? Apparently you can. That's a little bit better, but alright. I'm not too happy about that. Saitani will have to reload. I could maybe throw a flashbang. I don't think it will do me that much good right now. No, not really, just reload. Okay, can I get line of sight here? Doesn't seem like it. I'll just have to overwatch. I could throw a smoke grenade. So that's actually not a terrible idea. Okay, that is actually a decent enough idea there. I don't think I can give it to four people at once. Actually, yes, I can. Okay, what the heck? Let's throw a smoke grenade. As long as Berserker doesn't walk right into it, that would be pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not quite willing to run in there and slash it. I do have grapple, but I can't really grapple anything useful. Yeah, I'll just have to dash to make myself useful on the next turn. That's pretty much it. I could still try Overwatch. The Pathfinders will move. I stand ready. Okay, this would be a much more useful flashbang. So I think I'll actually go for this one. Okay, let's actually go for that one. Because that way they will have a harder time hitting resistance people. It's not necessarily about me here. As for Tarkin... Well... I don't want to take a shot here. He will not be inside the smoke anymore. But I can keep full cover. It should be fine to hit the Berserker. Yeah, if I stand over here, that's a little bit too close to the Berserker. Let's go here instead. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm just going to Overwatch. Yeah, some people will die, that's just unavoidable. Okay, he did not walk into the smoke. With three berserkers, it's pretty much impossible to save that many people. Yep. Wait, what? Oh, he killed the trooper. Nice. Thanks for your cooperation. I'm taking fire. No. Okay, stun lancer. Yep. Well, like I said, it's pretty much impossible to save them all. We did get 4 out of 6 already, so I should be fine here. As long as 2 civilians survive. There are still 7 left. Just need to hurry up and start killing some of this stuff. But again, that's a lot of damage I'll have to do, so easier said than done. That line of sight has been a bit awkward. Right, well, I'll need to reload here. And I missed again. What the heck is wrong with you? Let's rock. So that's the second 85% shot that she missed. Not good. No problem, boss. All right, I need some serious damage here. Yeah, that is quite a few enemies there. I don't know if I can kill these berserkers fast enough. 73%. Let's actually shoot the stun lancer from the flank. And a miss. Yeah, not good. Way too many misses in this mission so far. Like, way too many. This is my last grenade. I don't know about this. I guess I could hit that stun lancer on the left. Well, let's reload first. It. 
Okay, that's fine. We'll hit the Berserker and the Stun Lancer. That should also destroy his cover. I'm not going for loot on the left. I'm just ignoring it. We have more important things to do. Man, I could really use this damage, but it's not safe. I suppose I could slash this guy. It's still not safe, don't get me wrong, but okay, what the heck, let's do it. All the enemies should be active now. You want some more? Okay. Now I want to kill the Stun Lancer. Maybe the Berserker too, but I might not have enough firepower for that. So probably move up here. Thing is, this one Berserker up here, close to me, will probably hit someone. He might go after a civilian, that's possible. Okay, line of sight kind of sucks here. It really does. It really does. And I can't grapple anything either. I could stand like over here, but then I'll have no cover. And if I stand here, I will have no line of sight to anything. Like this terrain sucks because I can't grapple anything to move faster. I just really have no option other than dash right now. Like literally that's it. I can use Whiplash first because that's a free action. So we can use that. 5 health on the Stun Lancer. Okay, sure. Got him. Now we can move into cover. I would prefer full cover. Okay. Only got an X left now. Well, yeah, not a whole lot I can do at this. I can take a shot at the Berserker on the left. But that's about it. That's about it. There, 7 damage. I definitely blame some of the earlier misses. One of the Berserkers would have been dead already. If I didn't miss with 85% twice. Oh look, here's a faceless. Because clearly that's what we needed. Yeah, this is quite a few enemies. Yeah, the worst part is that it's just a ton of damage I'll have to do. Like over 70 damage that I'll have to do still. At least that guy is almost dead. Okay. You know what would be useful right now? <laughs> A rocket launcher. Alright people, do at least some damage here. Would be nice if they killed that faceless. There it is! One less target to worry about. I did take a little bit of damage from that explosion, but it's not a big deal. Alright, let's kill that trooper over there. Hopefully. Got him. Okay, one target only, so let's take two shots. The Berserkers really have to go down. Okay, same thing. I do have my shotgun here. Well, this is a kill just with a regular shot. How many is that now? And then we can shoot at a stun lancer. Yeah, sure. That didn't do much. Well, I could slash him, but that's obviously not a great idea. 
Maybe I'm better off just using teamwork here. That's actually what I'm thinking. And I could use that to actually move into cover. That's probably best. Yeah, I think that's best. Let's teamwork. Can I take out the mech on this turn at least? Yeah, no, I don't think I have enough damage. Not really. I can't really do much of anything anymore. I can try. I do have flashbang, but that's not going to do a whole lot. I can still do it. I can handle that. I could also kill that Berserker, probably. I would have to hit him. 66%. I really want to take out the mech, but I just don't think I can. Well, if I hit it twice, then yes. But I would have to hit it twice. It's not that likely. Not impossible, but... Not super likely. And I would have to do decent damage. Okay, what the heck, let's shoot the mech. So that's six. Okay, now I would need seven. So, well, it might happen. Okay, please make it happen. There we go, very nice. Even got a crit there. Okay, actually kind of impressed. I could take a shot at that stun lancer. Technically, it doesn't matter if I'm standing in the open here, if I kill him. It's 70%. That's pushing it a little. It's a risky move, because if I miss, I'm left with no cover. If I move, he will definitely stay alive. Okay, what the heck, let's shoot him. Got him! I like to live dangerously, what can I say? Alright, alright, that was a pretty damn good turn right there. So what do we have left right now? Other than the Berserker, another Berserker with full health. A Purifier. So, two Berserkers. Oh, he's throwing an incendiary grenade. That's really annoying. Uh, he just hit a civilian and nothing else. Wait, what? Okay, that's hilarious. Oh, that's actually hilarious. The Berserker killed the Purifier, the Purifier blew up and almost killed the Berserker too. It has one health left. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Seems doable. We seem to be almost done. So, that other Berserker. It had full health. I am not sure if I can do 28 damage to it on this turn. I might not be able to. Only one way to find out. Actually, no, hold on, I think I can. You know how. With both barrels. That will actually do the trick. Yep, it will. Especially since I'm using the magnetic version of that. So, that's actually perfect in this situation. There we go. That was over 20 critical damage. And we're done. Nice. Unlocked Major rank. Very nice. So now I could do part 3 of the hunt for the Assassin. Because I need a Major or higher for that. And now I got that. Alright, what will we get with that? Only one promotion, but a super important promotion. I can get Grazing Fire. Yeah, I'm going to grab Grazing Fire. What can I say? I like not missing. So, shaken, tired... Alright, it's fine. We got corpses. Hello, Commander. Plus 30 supplies monthly in New India. Okay, so that's retaliation done. 
Uh, two hours to finish training. Avenger power, 12 days. Man, I wish I still had the 50% scanning time reduction. But I might grab that power. I might actually grab that. That way I wouldn't have to build another power relay for a while. I actually kind of need that power. For this spot right here, once I clear it. Okay, let's go get the power. I actually need it. I also need plus one contact, but I guess that will have to wait. There's GTS training for Fox. So that makes him a corporal. Yep, so trick shot. I don't think I can send anyone else right now. I could recruit someone. But I will be at 40 out of 40 if I do that. I think I'll have to wait until I'm ready to upgrade my living quarters. I need more Alarium. I might have to buy Alarium from the black market. Let's actually check out the black market really quick. Market is open. Yeah, I'm going to buy some Alarium. It's 40 Intel, but I'm actually going to need it. Okay, yeah, I'll buy some Alarium. That's 44, which isn't even that much. I'm also going to need alloys, but alloys should be a little bit easier to get. Superior speed is nice, but I don't think I'm willing to spend 40 intel on that. A Sergeant Shinobi is also nice, but same story. I'm not willing to spend intel on that. Uh, okay, that's done. Now I have to prepare infiltration. Can we sell anything at the black market? I imagine I have a lot of corpses now. Yeah, we have 56 Advent Trooper corpses. I definitely don't need that many. They are used for armor, but I don't need that many. We can keep 40. And I could probably sell more than this. But I'm a little bit paranoid about selling too many corpses. We got four data pods, so I could sell one. Okay, I'm going to sell one here. Okay, that looks good. I can maybe sell an officer corpse. Let's sell a few more sector corpses, like five. They are only used for mine shield. Yeah, okay, let's sell more to take advantage of this. I'll keep like 10. Okay, that's 262 total. There. Now I can actually upgrade my living quarters. Let's check covert operations really quick. So this is a rescue scientist, which I probably want to do. Expires in two days, 20 hours. Right. Enemy tech defense is increased by 20 and towers cannot be hacked. Anyone coming back in the next, like, day or so? 26 hours for Monty. What about Clownfish? Yeah, he's ready. So I could wait for Monty and then send him with Clownfish. Uh, Jeremy is ready. So if I recruit another person, what class would he be? Good question. A shinobi, possibly. A technical wouldn't be bad because they can get a shredder eventually. But they need, I think, sergeant to get that? Was it sergeant? No, it's lieutenant. So that takes a while. I should be able to get at least sergeant soldiers from various other sources. So I think I'll wait for now. And we should also be able to get like another Templar, another Reaper and such through covert operations eventually. So I can hold off on upgrading my living quarters until later. Yeah, let's not do that just yet. I can do that later.
Anyway, so hold on. I definitely want that scientist. We also got another infiltration to set up soon, which is uh, this one right here. So I got six days before I'll have to do that one. Okay, six days is fine. I'm definitely getting that scientist. How many scientists do I have? Only four scientists and four engineers. It's not that many. Let's see who I can send here. Now I have to assume I'll get other missions to do. So I need to keep enough people and enough gear to be able to do other stuff. Clara could really use a body, but that's going to be hard. I would probably have to do that through covert operation. Her compatibility is pretty bad. Okay, well, let's grab her. Uh, Satan is tired. Uh, I can grab a Devilish and Rocky. That sounds good to me. Hey, uh, hold on, hold on. Wait, Clara is not tired, right? I could actually use her right away to start covert operation for the assassin. This will take 24 days. And I definitely want to kill the assassin. So this slot is optional, I don't have to do that one. I will probably get ambushed in here though. Having the Templar for the ambush would be very helpful, but one, he's tired for 10 days, and two, if I send him, that means he'll be unavailable for 24 days. Longer than that, actually. It's probably not a big deal if somebody gets wounded. Sure, they will be unavailable for a while, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, some hacking skill. Yeah, I don't really care about that. I could send Ambrose in or something, but then she'll be unavailable for almost a month. That's just too much. Hey, we can just send Fox. Well, okay, sure. So if they get ambushed, they should be able to handle this. There's a decent chance. There's a very high chance they will get ambushed. I'm going to assume they will get ambushed. So let's use magnetic weapons here. Uh, pistols are not super expensive, so I can make a new one if needed. I think I'll pass on giving them predator armor. Any gear I bring in here will be unavailable basically for a month. So how's Clara's health with regular armor? Seven health. I would feel safer with Predator armor. But I think I'll give her Magnetic Rifle. Maybe not the one with superior stock. Improvised Magnetic Rifle, actually. Yeah, let's give her that one. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, they will almost definitely get ambushed. That's going to happen. I assume that's going to happen. Maybe a med kit, you know, just in case. If I end up needing a med kit, I'll be kind of screwed. Let's just go like this. I'm not going to wait for the Templar. Surely we can handle an ambush like this, right? <laughs> Famous last words. With magnetic weapons, it should be fine. What about APs? Gain an extra starting action point each turn, but lose 6 mobility. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I could pick that up. I could actually pick that up. I might. Is that the best option here? Extra ammo for the sword of shotgun. Okay, what the heck? I think I'll grab this. Okay, let's grab that. That actually should be quite useful on a ranger. Detonation shot. 
That might be worth picking up. Okay, what the heck, let's grab that. What's his aim? 69 aim? At Corporal? That's not terrible. Alright, I'll grab the donation shot. I have a lot of XCOM APs, might as well spend them for something. I do have some spare PCSs. I think I might just give Clara plus 2 health here, or emergency life support. She's my highest rank soldier right now. Okay, let's give her emergency life support. Here you go. Done. Let's go. So 26 days, 7 hours. Alright, let's go. Now, the scientist rescue. Because obviously I want to do that. Let's see. So, Devolution Rocky. I'll probably have to make some extra gear, but we just got like over 200 extra supplies. I can afford it. Hey, Lutheran is wounded, but let's bring Roar to have a sharpshooter available. Okay, three days for Bob. Three days for Ramela. Uh, let's grab Ambrosin, I guess. Yeah, I'll have to hug the Vanador. So, might as well grab our best hacker. So, that gives me Akimbo, Technical, Sharpshooter, and Specialist. Who is actually available? Let's grab Jeremy here. To have some easy mode scouting. And I could grab Garantio. Wait, where is body? Uh, right here. Right, that's Long Strider. Okay. Three days. I think I'd rather wait to bring them both. Chlorophy is tired. I have to bring someone. I mean, technically, I don't have to. <laughs> I actually don't have to. I can do it with five. Nothing is stopping me from doing it with five. Will anyone be back in like the next few hours? Well, Monty will be back. What about the clownfish? Yeah, he's already here. Yeah, I could actually do that. This is not going away yet, right? We have two days, 19 hours. Yeah, so let's wait uh, 26 hours. I can actually speed it up a little by scanning at the Templar HQ. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's Monty. Now we can do it. It's fine, Bradford. Right, so I will still bring Devolution Rocky. Now we'll get Monty and Clownfish. That will give me two technicals, but hey, that's more explosions, right? Then we can still grab Jeremy for some scouting. And I can also get Ambrosin still. Okay, yeah, that sounds good to me. Now, some gear. I probably want better armor for my Reaper by now. It's 30 supplies. Just to get armor for one single person. But alright, fine. Here, that's better. I should also get a better weapon. How much is that? Right here. 44 supplies. Man, that's pretty expensive for just one single person, but okay, fine. I hope I'll be able to get second Reaper and or second Templar. Right, remove that scope. Wait, how the heck is that the same exact damage? I think that's a visual glitch, to be honest. That's not supposed to be the same damage. 
seems like a visual glitch there. That is not supposed to be the same damage. Well, anyways, scope. And autoloader is fine. Plus one mobility PCS, that's good for a Reaper, for scouting and such. So, Clownfish, give him a cannon, there you go. A 7 health, okay, more health. Smoke Grenade is fine. Who else? How's health? Okay, 5 health is way too low, obviously. Okay, that'll do. Gremlin Mark II. And a better weapon. PCS for her. I could use hacking PCS, but I do not have one at the moment. So unfortunately, I cannot do that. Okay, who else? 8 health, 8 health. Okay. A better pistol for the Valish. Here you go. Rocky, better weapon. That's the superior stock one, that works. Do I still have armor available? Yes, I do actually. Okay. Uh, yeah, medkit is fine. Extra backup medic, it won't hurt. One more weapon for Manti here. Here you go. And armor for Manti. I don't want to use too much, actually. Yeah, okay, I really don't want to use too much. Because I might get other missions to do simultaneously with this one. So, 8 health is probably okay-ish. Let's just keep it like this. This squad should be able to handle things. So, 5 days, 20 hours. It really depends on what enemies I get, but... We have two people with Shredder in here. We also have Hail of Bullets, Holo Targeting, it should be fine. Just checking if I didn't miss anything. Okay, let's commence the infiltration. So there's a lot going on right now. Five days for jailbreak faction soldier. Yeah, so in theory, I think I could do this mission at 100% and then set up the jailbreak. I could do that, if I want to do it at 100%. Not sure if I do, I guess we'll find out. How many people are wounded? A few are wounded. Eh, not that many. Let's just get the intel. I really need to... No, hold on, we were going to get uh, Avenger power, right, Avenger right. New I really need to get more contacts, but yeah, that will have to wait until I build the facility. Yeah, see? Sabotage monument. I don't think I'll be doing that. What dark event is this about? Viper Downs. Yeah, no, I don't really care about that. I'm going to skip that one. There, finally finished excavating that. That's 24 Elarium and 46 Alloys too. Now, the best thing to build here would be the Shadow Chamber. Because any facility I build here will not use power. And the Shadow Chamber uses the most power out of them all. So, I will be saving the most possible power by building a Shadow Chamber on this spot. Now, I don't want to build a Shadow Chamber yet. Let's clear this spot as fast as we can. How long will that actually take? Twenty days. Alright, I suppose that will do. I really don't need a proving ground, but building a proving ground here would be a massive waste. I could also build a power relay here. Now, that would give me quite a lot of power. 
It's a tough one, it's actually kind of a tough one, because I have to think about my supplies too. And about the time it will take to clear even more machinery here. Because it's also about space, not just the resources. I think this will have to be the proving ground, because I waited long enough. That laboratory definitely delayed a lot of my facilities by a lot. Uh, also, we're about to finish Mutant Autopsy, so that's nice. Either way, I'm skipping that monument mission, like I said. Okay, Bob removed his negative trait, that was fear of panic. Who do we send next? Who has the worst negative trait here? A fear of the Chosen. I could remove that. A night Terrors. Oh yeah, that's a pretty bad one. Let's actually remove that. Because that's a bad one. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, back to the bridge. Another mission. What is this one? Delay Dark Event. Collateral damage. Wait, what's that? Advent troopers will carry more explosives. I don't really care about that all that much. I can deal with that. Oh, we would get a sergeant gunner out of... Wait, what? Okay, I would get two sergeants out of this. An assault and a gunner. It's a gathered survivors from abandoned city mission but also with air patrols. Okay, I kind of want to do this one. I want to do that one. Expired in 14 hours. I can finish that mutant autopsy really quick. Not that it really changes anything, but yeah, let's finish it. Done. It does change it in the sense that I can now build an advanced grenade launcher. Elarium inspired. Okay, you know what I'm doing, Elarium. I need Elarium for plasma weapons. Uh, let's do instant faceless autopsy really quick. Yep. Done. Okay, we are researching Elarium. That's a no-brainer in this situation. And that's only 10 days. I will spend 40 Elarium to do that, but... I mean, I'll have to do it sooner or later. Might as well do it sooner, right? Yeah, 10 days is really nice. Okay, 31 hours to finish this. A minor risk of ambush. So an ambush might happen here. Okay, I got 8 hours left to do this. Well, we'll be doing this mission next, for sure. I'll have to think about what squad to bring here, but I definitely want to do this. However, that's also going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to hug the Advent Network, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.